Hi Virgo, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading, 17th through the 23rd. So this is for this week. What's going on with Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the energies? What do you guys need to know? Virgos, please. If you're interested in the extended, the link is in the description box below. What's going on with Virgos this week? We will be doing a Celtic Cross spread. Virgos, please. One more. All right, there's the Magician, Mercury, which is also your ruler, Gemini, Virgo, but mostly we're talking here. Regarding some type of manifestation, you have Taurus. You are... I feel like you're opening up yourself. There's a Six of Wands. Not only to something spiritual, but there's commitment on your mind here. It may be that some of you are going for counseling, mentoring type of energy. Of course, the Six of Wands. Ooh, the Tower. We'll see what's going on. There is that certain recognition here. It's coming with a lot of changes, though. Let's see. All right, the Eight of Swords, another Gemini energy, feeling blocked, fearful, and the King of Cups. I feel like someone has that emotional block or trying here to hold back with the king of cups and the eight of swords it can be you it can be someone you're dealing with all right there you are with your virgo placement ten of pentacles and is being crossed by six of pentacles a lot of pentacles the seven of cups the five of pentacles oh my goodness the seven of pentacles what's going on here justice okay Oh, the Six of Cups, the World, the Emperor, and the Lovers. Okay, so definitely. Now, for some of you, the Lovers, of course, can be a major, major decision. But you have two major Arcanas that are coming here immediately one after the other. Your immediate future is the Justice, and your possible outcome this week is the Lovers. Uh, so very important events. Now, I always say it to me, when I see major arcanas, it's not something just this week that is going to affect you. This is going to affect you here, you know, even, you know, for the year or whatever, this moment of truth, of justice that is coming in, is going to be very important. But let's start overall with these two. Uh, both, I like the Ten of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. There's a certain sink in, in your energy. There's no contradiction. Actually, I have to say there's no contradiction at all this week because earth and water nurture each other the only thing is the justice here is coming as libra but that's a major arcana it does not have to do anything with the, the minors so i i feel like there is a certain sense of security and establishment at least you are not being combative here with when it comes to what do you want to achieve what do you want to work at there's a, a sense of uh understanding and awareness the ten of pentacles tells me that there's some type of family wealth prosperity even inheritance uh, commitment and is being crossed by the six of pentacles i feel like sh for some of you sharing wealth sharing this um, being on the same page when it comes to what you want to achieve what your person does not have to be for some of you maybe married to this person and you find finding this balance but that's what overall what you are going to be feeling or questioning. It is something that you want to achieve regarding commitment, family, business, inheritance, and it's coming with sharing this nice balance. Now, it, it, it is the Seven of Cups here, Venus in uh, Scorpio, Moon in Taurus, Virgo energy, Mercury in Taurus here. It's coming because you have been dreaming about this. You have had all these possibilities and you're feeling right now overwhelmed. But you have an idea, you know, with a Ten of Pentacles. You can see the vision of what you want to accomplish. If this is a person that you want to create a life with, you feel like there's still work to be done with the Seven of Pentacles. So you're, you're thinking here, here with the Seven of Pentacles, another Taurus, Taurus, Taurus energy here all over the place. Some of you may have strong Taurus in your natal chart or your person. Um, it doesn't have to be. It's just um, we're in Taurus season still. So... It's training many of your uh, placements. It's helping you guys. It's giving you opportunity. So maybe that's why you have, the, there's this beautiful, you know, harmonious energy. But yeah, you're living in whatever has been in the past, lacking, be, being left out, poor, financially, or a person here that was not ready for commitment. You're le letting that go. 
this, I feel like in the past there was a lot of neglect or being left out. You're thinking right now, choosing wisely. What are you going to invest? Is it in this relationship here with the lovers? Um, I, I feel like it's very much regarding something that you have been waiting for some time with the Seven of Pentacles or you have invested. This is not something that with a person here that was one day here and gone. There's been a lot of dedication and work and effort here that you have put and you want to see that, you know, whatever those values and work to come here with some type of establishment and commitment. And you are with the Six of Pentacles. It cannot be one-sided. It cannot be there in the past that I, with the Five of Pentacles here, oh, I, I did this and the person did not reciprocate. No, that, that Six of Pentacles tells me that something has to come to balance here. If it is your person that left you in the cold, now you're looking for that uh, give and take. And that's what you have in your thinking. The justice here that is coming, I feel like, Whatever investment here is just, you know, kind of the universe having your back. You have worked, you have put all of this dedication and the justice is coming towards you. You do feel nostalgic, uh, Virgo. Uh, for some of you, maybe a soulmate here that uh, is influencing you. Your behavior is very much all about seeking that harmonious energy again, Scorpio energy, Taurus energy, which both Scorpio and Taurus go perfectly with your um, placements in Virgo. There's beautiful connection between the two. So I, I feel like the Six of Cups here, it's just something here that you go after this known joy, after this soulmate situation, or you're seeking here the person that can mirror that. But I really like the Six of Cups in your behavior. What surrounds you is the world. It looks like a cycle is coming to close here, an accomplishment. It may be that you will travel, you're not aware yet. Uh, for others here, there may be someone at distance that is affecting you. The emperor is in your hopes and fears. And again, we're talking about that stability, that foundation, uh, having your own home, having your own business, having, you know, with the emperor here, always we're talking about the conqueror, but also we're talking someone that is very responsible, has put roots down, um, has achieved, you know, that type of boss attitude. And the lovers tells me that this is going to be a very, very important decision uh, regarding this family matter or establishment. So we will see. We will see what's going on. All right. Oops. All right, so I want to find out what is the Ten of Pentacles about. Oh, my goodness. It looks like there's been some type of... Uh, blockages now i feel like some of you like you are defending something uh family-wise establishment i don't know if you're defending a commitment uh with a, a person here or you are coming here that i'm standing my ground i know what i want i'm going to to make it happen the seven of wands is mars and leo by the way it's um it's a person that no matter what is it, uh, being attacked here, it has to do with someone's prosperity and wealth and family. So standing your ground, believing in this, that's how I'm getting this combination. Uh, it's a very determined energy this week regarding protecting what matters to you, family and commitment. Maybe that some of you are feeling blocked because of uh, some type of family situation. But I'm, I'm getting defensiveness. I'm getting here not giving up for something that is worth it. Sorry, I have to turn off that. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. One more. There you are with the Hermit. Um, What's coming again? Uh, what has been here withdrawn or being left out, as I mentioned? Right now, it looks like there's this balance that is coming in. If you have been always, you know, reflecting or holding back, now it's time to open up. I don't know if you have been blocking a certain situation because of family or protecting something here, uh, as I mentioned, but what can challenge this is. Is this energy now to not be withdrawn, no single, no solitude. It's just someone that is ready to share and open up. And again, this may be what you're asking from someone. 
the king of cups wants to come again here so i feel like definitely there's someone that is in love or wants to open up cancer pisces scorpio for some of you what is the seven of cups one more okay seven 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 that's very important <laughs> the king of cups again underneath all of this we have someone that has a lot of feelings a lot of emotions this person i feel like whoever there is you are whoever you're connecting not only is very um, compassionate but i feel like they are losing a little bit control here because of all these possibilities and dreams that they have towards a person or a situation it's like this is quite open with the King of Cups when it comes to this is what I want, this is what I dream. But I feel like there's a little bit of an overwhelmed energy. Uh, there is love though. There is love. There's even infatuation. Um, someone is drowning in these emotions here and dreams. What happened with the Five of Pentacles? Okay, so I feel like there was someone that did not express their feelings or someone was left out. It can be an apology, but I'm getting a neglect in the past. There was definitely a neglect in the past. Let's see, what is the Five of Pentacles with the Page of Cups? Regarding someone not expressing their feelings. Yeah, you have. You have. You're still waiting, but I feel like there's something. There was a lack here in the past of someone expressing feelings, recent past for some of you, or someone was afraid, so they were waiting because they were afraid to be left out. A lot of sevens here for you guys. Okay, tell me about the seven of pentacles. This will be your thoughts presently here. What you see possible waiting that's what you see possible and investing and figuring out one more okay the king of wands and the ten of swords the king of wands is someone here that does not want to wait anymore like you're trying to feel like is this the ending In your thinking now, the King of Cups is very different. In your mind, you have someone more passionate. If this is you, as I mentioned, you're going here from when it comes to these emotions, you know, subconsciously, consciously, you know that there's something here that end, has to end or something has to finish. So I, because this has been ongoing on with the Ten of Swords, but I'm, I'm guessing the timing must have not been right or you felt like something ended here with this person. It, it, badly that there was something here that i don't think it was something that ended you know okay let's be friends or you know just let's walk away there was some type of hurt betrayal or abandonment um you still are waiting though but you feel how much longer will that be there's still the hurt i don't know if this person is trying to heal from the the wounds or the betrayal and you want to give this person time or they want to give you or you need time from this betrayal you know because justice is coming here what is this justice one more oh wow okay this is you you're getting this justice, you're getting these rewards, you're getting this recognition. It's time here for whatever has been going on in the past, whatever the hurt, the betrayal, things are changing. Now, it does not have to be a betrayal. It may be that certain things in the past, you both could not be together. Uh, but def definitely, I feel like because the justice is coming here, the Ten of Swords, something ended badly. There's victory that is coming in. There is success, there is recognition. I have to say, I have sevens and sixes here a lot. I I don't know if some of you here, that means something. The sixes are all about harmonious energy, balance. And the sevens to me, I also see it not only as a mystical number, but it's number seven. So it has to do with relationship as well. When it comes to, you know, astrologically here, the seventh house deals with contracts, marriage, and commitment. All right, so the six of cups. One more. 
Okay, so we do have an emotional bond. And Cancer Pisces Scorpio, for some of you, you may be very much this person. That is an emotional bond here with uh, an individual. And you very much feel like this was the person. For some of you, you're feeling nostalgic, as I mentioned here, and still open to this. What is the world? Okay, I'm going to look at this in a little bit because I felt like I grabbed them. Look, the Two of Cups chariot. If it is not a... We have Cancer 2, Venus in Cancer and Cancer, but I'm guessing some type of barriers has been here or distance, but someone is coming rushing in. Look at this. These are very important because this... Is something unfinished. Whatever this closing cycle, you're starting a new one. This is what you don't see external. This is your person. But there's there's the Piscean, the Aquarius, and then we have air sign. It's someone that has been holding back, but they're still very hopeful. There's a telepathic connection here. What surrounds you, Virgo? It's a very much a major cycle that is going to start regarding your love life. Make the decision, the best decision here. Tell me about the emperor. One more. Judgment. Look at all these major arcanas. I mean, you're hoping for this person to come towards you or you're hoping finally with the emperor, whatever it is that you have been building for some time, dedicating the foundation that there's going to be here, a second chance, a renewal energy, contact. This is very important. There's way too many major arcanas here. What is the lovers? It feels very much destined driven, whoever you're connecting with. What is the lovers here? One more. Oh my goodness, what is this? <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles, such a Virgo energy. Okay. Definitely we're talking about some type of commitment, uh, Virgo. This decision is something that you have planned for some time. I'm getting reunion, engagement, marriage, strongly marriage. So the decision that you have to make, it is regarding someone here that you want to be with and they want to be with you. It may be their person coming towards you, but you are going to get the justice you deserve. For some of you, if you have been going through legal matters with something here that's ending and a new beginning with a new partnership that's coming towards you successfully, but this is someone here that you feel is the one with the lovers. Remember the King of Cups, mutually two people, a very, very strong deep bond that leads to marriage between the two of you. I really hope this resonates with you. We will see in the extended what's going on in your love life and who or what is coming towards you regarding love. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys.